So from the information sheet I've got, we see the pitch is 0 0.0209. So I'm going to make my cutting tool 75% of that dimension. Because if we try and make a tool exactly the same as the pitch of the thread, the tool might interfere with itself, pardon the expression, when it's trying to cut the tool on the program, the software will object. So 75% of 0 0.0209 is, is point zero one five seven. So I'm going to turn off, well the snap of the grid's off, so we're all right. Uh, rectangle width of the cutting tool, which is the vertical dimension here, uh, point zero one five seven inches. And it can be any reasonable length, provided it doesn't stretch right across the bore. So anything to, will do. So we'll click just there. Now then we're going to put the cutting part on here. So we will choose the polygon tool. And we start here. Now of course we've got six sides. We want three. So we'll tab to the number of sides. And three for that. Tab away from that. There we are. Tab to the angle 30 tab that fixes the angle right now we want this apex over left top to line up with the horizontal top line of the rectangle so instead of an internal di uh, dimension here we go to I see that's over here use internal radius we select un deselect that so now we are using the external radius on from the corner now we want that to pop under there perfect so that's part of the tool made now we can trim away some bits we don't want and we need a flat one here which from there to the flat is one sixth of that distance from the point to the base. So there's a handy way of doing that. We can select the polygon again and leaving the sides at six, we want this to be square, which it's looking about 150 degrees angle. So we'll tab to the angle 150 tab and that locks it in that position so now we can see what that dimension is it's 0 0.691 millimeters but we wanted a sixth of that 0 0.691 0 0.691 one divide by six return there at last there we go trim that's our tool okay now we've got to position this tool so that, that corner is coincident with that corner there. Now we'll find there's a problem if we try and do that directly. Because watch, we pop that onto that corner. Now we go up to, and if we select that corner, what will happen is that will line up with the center of the ball. Not what we want. So to get around that, we choose the line tool. 
L key, line to, or line tool up there, and put a line, any line, so long as it's coincident with the corner, and do the same move there, and find the end of that line, and that's it. Now we can trim away the guideline there. So we've got our cutting tool in position. We select the pull tool, select the cutter, rotate, select an axis, axis, select the cut tool here because we're cutting in and removing material to make the thread then we want to make a helix not just a circle we'll make a helix the first thing when you're doing this is to set the pitch which it just happens is 0 0.531 because I've done this before and then select height make sure that the zero is highlighted in blue otherwise you'll get into trouble so now this cutter tool has got to go right through and out the other side we're nearly three millimeters thick here so we we'll need to go a bit further than that so we'll choose two three point five and then return and what have we got? we've got a thread so we can look at that if we choose that side and control click choose that side and X V what's our thread? So that's a nice thread. H. There's our first 6PA nut. So over here, we'll right click on that. Rename. Six PA nut. Well, that's the end of part two. The next part is going to show how to make more nuts from that one we've just made and how to make them different sizes. Also I'm going to show how to get the right colours to colour the nuts to represent various materials such as brass, copper, stainless steel.